Hey all, uh, just wanted to uh, give uh, a quick photo and a video here of my wind turbine setup down there. Uh, you can see the uh, amperage, uh, which isn't too much right now. Uh, probably getting right between 1 and 4 amps. I also have a setup with a switch that's uh, voltage controlled. So as soon as the voltage gets too high for my DC to DC converter right here, that guy will take in anywhere between 33 and 75 volts. It'll output 30 volts, and 30 volts goes into the charge controller here. Charge controller goes ahead and charges the batteries, which are down here. And that amp meter gives me an indication of, uh, you know, how many amps I've got, how much power I've got going through the batteries. So what I did is went ahead and took a uh, couple resistors of FET and also a relay and made a little circuit uh, so that I can adjust the voltage uh, at which uh, those um, dump load 150 watt bulbs kick on. So each one of those is 150 watts so that's 450 watts because they're all wired in parallel to each other. And this little guy down here um, I can go ahead and turn this and get those to kick on much at a much lower voltage. In fact, I'll demonstrate that here. Right now you can hear it clicking on and off. It's trying to keep that voltage probably, even though my little voltage meter says about 20, that's about 12 volts off. So right now it's uh, about 34 volts. It's trying to hold the voltage of the wind turbine too. In fact, you can see that better. This gauge is a little bit more accurate. Um, it's kind of bouncing around the voltage but uh, set points are around 30, 35 and I can increase the voltage at which it kicks those dump loads on by turning that variable resistor and you can see those things glowing bright. It's just simply trying to keep the wind turbine from uh, going over a preset voltage and that preset voltage um, basically for this DC to DC converter I don't want it to exceed 75 volts, which is the input rating to this little guy that the uh, camera's on. And uh, that DC to DC converter is capable of handling 100 watts. And it will take anywhere between 33 and 75 volts in coming from the wind turbine. And uh, it takes it in on this side, and it'll go ahead and I uh, have it configured over here. They have two 12, 12 volt outputs, a 3 volt output, and a 12 and I've got them with a resistor I can boost the 12s up to about 15 volts so I have approximately 30 volts coming out of this little guy and uh, that comes right into my charge controller right here as you can see the charge lights on so I'm definitely charging right now and uh, it's all working pretty well but I'll tell you what the uh, DC to DC converter for a fluctuating wind turbine um, you know, wind turbines fluctuate voltage depending on the rotor speed. So these DC to DC converters really allow you to tolerate quite a bit more variation in voltage, whereas otherwise you wouldn't be able to tolerate it. You would simply have to dump the load anytime the voltage exceeds the uh, upper charge limit uh, voltage of the batteries. So with this DC to DC converter, it can handle wide voltage swings and it goes ahead and puts a constant approximately 30 volts out which is really nice so I've been able to do a lot of things with uh, uh, with this setup uh, that normal normal uh, people uh, would never uh, have been able to do so uh, thanks to the use of technology right now I'm charging my house phone which you can see um, I've got uh, another circuit right here based on the LM317T where I've got about 5.4 volts coming out of this particular wire right here and the end of that has a uh, plug for my cell phone so I can go ahead and charge my cell phone and uh, again you can hear that relay clicking and uh, the uh, it's turning on a dump load to keep my incoming voltage before the DC to DC converter it keeps that, that at a specific voltage so uh, anyway we're implementing some controls to uh, my circuit here and uh, it's working out pretty well. I got a lot more to do. I would like to go ahead and integrate uh, a click PLC 
uh, programmable logic controller to this setup so I can um, reprogram it quickly on the computer uh, to, to function and do exactly what I want it to do. Eventually I do not want to have a, a dump load. I don't want to have any kind of dump load. I would rather not waste the energy but use it for some type of uh, purpose. You know, whether it be um, putting it back into the grid, uh, whether it be charging additional banks of batteries, uh, whether it be running maybe a um, thermoelectric cooler to c keep the cool uh, the garage cool here, and uh, so we'll. But we're getting that figured out slowly but surely. Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and document uh, the progress I've uh, made so far. All right, thanks. Bye.